A national study is exploring whether testosterone could stop men from developing diabetes. The trial, led by the University of Adelaide, is already seeing amazing results, with participants dropping kilos and no longer at risk of contracting the condition. At 72 years old, it's game on for Graham Field. I can't remember the last time I felt so good. Two years ago, the great-grandfather tipped the scales at 115 kilograms. He had low testosterone levels and was on the road to developing type 2 diabetes. I was finding difficulty uh, in carrying out some tasks, breathing, shortness of breath, etc. My GP said to me, it's about time you considered losing weight. Enrolling in a national trial turned his life around. Led by the Freemasons Foundation Centre for Men's Health and the University of Adelaide, the study is exploring whether testosterone injections combined with a lifestyle program can reduce the risk of diabetes. Researchers believe testosterone may help normalise blood sugar levels by creating more muscle mass and reducing body fat, both of which help control blood sugars. Diabetes is, is absolutely increasing to epidemic proportions. I think for the most part we're preventing it as we, as we hoped. Within the first six months of the trial starting, 70% of participants had lost on average four to six kilograms. For Graham, a year on the study has left him 25 kilograms lighter. I'm now playing tennis three times a week. Uh, I'm going to the gym as, as often as I can. Men aged over 50 are most at risk of getting diabetes, especially if they're overweight and have family history. It's an age at which, uh, particularly in men, the um, frequency with which diabetes starts to occur accelerates and certainly much greater than what occurs in women. But despite this, the trial is struggling to recruit the 250 South Australian men it needs for effective results. To see if you qualify, visit the t for dm website. I'd say, look, join it. What if you've got nothing to lose, apart from your weight. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.